Welcome back to my crushing difficulty walkthrough for Uncharted The Lost Legacy. So we're still in chapter number 4 and in the previous segment we essentially cleared the left side of the map and we got all the collectibles that we needed to get there as well as all the tokens and now we're going to try and clear most of the right side. I will let you know that this segment is probably going to end up being a very long segment because I'm going to try and be as sneaky as possible here. But during this part we're going to be battling a lot and I do mean a lot of enemies. So things might drag out a little bit. But overall chapter 4 in this game uh, is by far the biggest chapter in the entire game. Uh, so yeah, like I told you previously in the previous part we are going to be spending some time here. Something tells me that even if we didn't finish off the guy that was complaining, a sub would probably deal with him because I don't think he tolerates, you know, complaining from his men. And that guy is really asking for trouble in my opinion. But anyway, we're going to try and clear this area and we'll be as quiet as possible, like I said. First, we're going to wait for this guy who conveniently always comes up here. And as soon as he moves into the corner, punch him in the face and break his neck. Always works. Chloe must have a really powerful right hook. And now that side here, you saw nothing. Keep in mind that on crushing difficulty all the enemies have better high sight, so... They'll spot you very early and very easily, so we have to be extra careful here. Our objective is to hide in the tall grass over there. Come on, Chloe, don't get damn it. Okay, so she got stuck. Uh, I don't know why she didn't take cover, because I pressed the button. But anyway, let's wait here once again. And like I was saying, our objective is to hide in the tall grass. Let's wait for him to turn around. There we go, and let's try this once more. Wait for that guy as well to turn around. Now's our chance. You saw nothing, guys. It's just a giant red squirrel walking around the grass. Because you do have to admit that red probably isn't the best attire to have in this situation when you are in the middle of the jungle, essentially. And you're trying to be sneaky. Okay, let's wait here for that guy to turn around. And we're going to start by taking care of the guy up there. Hopping around ever so carefully. Here he comes. Another right hook for him. Bye bye. Enjoy the ride. And now let's go over here. And we're going to do the same thing to his other friend. We're just going to wait. I think if you, fo if you follow this path, you shouldn't be detected by the enemy. Uh, there's other ways, I'm sure, to approach this area, but I think this method is pretty safe. Because by moving back here and taking care of those two first, uh, you will now be able to clear the other area more easily. Let's wait for that guy to turn around and punch. That was a neck punch. Still worked though. I'm surprised that with a single blow, Chloe and... Well, honestly, anyone in the Uncharted franchise. It's like the enemy soldiers are made of paper. Uh, whenever you actually enter a fight with them, sometimes they can last for a while. They don't go down with one blow, but when you're being sneaky, even a punch to the neck somehow kills them. Okay, this guy's down, and now let's take care of the last one. There we go. Duly noted. Let's 
Let's just Think wait. It? Think so. Nope, it's not. There's always a second wave. And we're Shit. going to use a very simple strategy here. So they're going to spot the jeep. Let's throw a grenade towards their truck. And there's going to be a very big explosion here. See, throwing the grenade against the truck actually expands the, the dimension of the explosion, as you just saw. I think this guy is the only one left, so we're going to get up there and get rid of him. There we go. And that's it. We're clear. So yeah, if you do this, you'll be able to get rid of all of them very quickly. And you won't have to worry because these guys will be on alert mode. So they'll be scanning around the area um, and making life harder for you. Anyway, make sure you destroy that wall. And now let's open this box. Don't forget to get it. We should have some grenades inside the box. So we can essentially restock our grenade supply. Yep, there we are. Very nice. I like this one, let's take it. Although I don't plan on using actual weapons to finish off enemies here. Uh, let's get the token as well. Another token for my collection. Very nice. After all that, you find anything? Another fabulous token. And now let's inspect the statue. Hey, notice anything about this statue? It's holding a trident, one of our three symbols. Yes, and it's pointing at those ruins. Right. Well done. Glad I'm good for something. Looks like there might be a road leading up there. Make sure you get that picture. Uh, it's very easy to miss. I'm going to show you the location of the picture on the map. It's right next to the statue, so you shouldn't have too many problems. But either way, uh, sometimes to be in the exact position of the pictures, uh, it's hard. And the game won't always give you the, the little icon showing you that you need to take a picture. So you need to be in the exact location. But yeah, this area is cleared. And now we're going to be collecting a bunch of treasures as well as taking another picture. First, we're going to go through here. And if you drive all the way to the back, see that building over there? There's going to be a treasure in the corner. Give me a second. Sure. You don't have to pass through this area uh, if you're just going around uh, clearing the, the areas with enemies. So this one's easy to miss. Again, it's right here in the corner right over there make sure you get that uh, by the way I'm leaving the central tower for last um, both the central tower and the area where we obtain um, a token which will grant us passage to the monkey island I'm going to leave those areas for last because that way I won't have to travel back and forth as much but anyway stop here I'll be right back. and if you move near those rocks you'll be able to take another picture of the waterfall right over here make sure you get that there we go let me show you on the map again right over here and now we're going to collect three more treasures And they're all fairly close to each other. So we shouldn't have too many issues. Time to go. But this next area that we're going to clear, I think it might be the toughest area in this chapter. Just because there's going to be so many enemies. Anyway, let's climb up to here. We got all wet. Another treasure for us. Again, location on the map is right over here. Let's go. And now let's turn around and go through the cave. And there will be another treasure right over here in the corner. You can see it shining over there. 
Let's get it as well. Come on, Chloe, get up there. There we go. And now for the last one. Not the last trophy in the entire chapter, there's more. In fact, this chapter is... Out of all the chapters, this is the chapter that has the biggest amount of collectibles for you to get. And there's also a lot of optional trophies that you can obtain. Wait here. Cool. Go ahead. So we need to get on top of this rock if Chloe decides to jump. There we go. And there we go again. And the treasure is right here in the corner. Make sure you get it. Sometimes this one takes a while to pop up for whatever reason. inside the jeep and we're going to park the jeep here even though whenever you leave that area somehow the jeep always moves positions and we're going to have the opportunity to, to have a, an optional conversation here guys just look at the symbol up, the, up there the trident and that will engage the conversation check it out it's Ganesh's trident Ganesh remover of obstacles that's very good oh well Figured if we were looking for a task, I should read up on him. Okay, well, he's a good one to know. You pray to him when you start something new or need to clear your mind of doubts and worry. Ah, the remover of obstacles. But why the elephant's head? His father, Shiva, gave it to him. Very thoughtful. After Shiva chopped off his human head. Oh. Yeah, we've all been there, am I right? That's bizarre. Here, son, let me cut off your head and I'll replace it with an elephant's head. Going to be quite heavy on your body but that's okay okay guys so in this uh, area we're going to have the opportunity to obtain an optional trophy called quiet as a mouse i've already uh, obtained that trophy in my practice run and in order to get this trophy you need to reach the um, the other side essentially and reach the gate without being seen by the enemy you can get rid of as many enemies as you want the only thing that you need to do in order to obtain this trophy is reach the other side without being seen. Of course, um, on the easier difficulties this might be easier, but it's perfectly possible to do this on crushing difficulty. So if you follow this path, you should be good. And... I'm just going to reach... The gate. I'm not going to worry too much about getting rid of all the enemies before I do it because the priority is the trophy and honestly it's easier to get the trophy if you don't go after every single enemy. Oh, you're going up there? Well, I'm going to follow you and get rid of you. Come on, just a little more. There we go. Down you go. I think he dropped a grenade there, but we don't need it. Although we are going to use a bunch of grenades and let's jump down on this guy. There we go. Hide. Be careful with the sniper up there. We are almost at the gate. Here we are. This will make a hell of a racket. Okay. Here goes nothing. Battle time. This will always happen, so I'm not going to use weapons here, I'm just going to use grenades to get rid of the dude with the Gatling gun, since he's armored, and aside from that I'm just going to use melee attacks to get rid of them. I don't think that will allow me to get the way of the warrior or whatever the trophy is called at the start of chapter number 5 but I am going to show you that it's perfectly possible to beat all of these enemies without having to use other weapons aside from grenades to get rid of the armor dude Four grenades will get rid of him there we go, he's down and now it's time to figure out a plan here inside 
here. Let's start by taking care of this guy. There we go. Those jumps are pretty amazing. And you're down as well. There we go. Uh oh, oh, that's not good. Good thing that guy was behind the wall. There we go, he's down too. Well, let's take care of the sniper. Wait to recover our health. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Where is he going? Making my life harder. Because snipers, they fight for a while. Okay, let's hide here now for a little bit. Recover our health again. Take cover here. And let's finish him. And I think this guy is the last one. Any more? That's a lot of them. There we go. You all right? Fine. Of course, if I used Maybe actual weapons, this would have been easier. See, but fortunately, we can get a bunch of grenades, so don't worry about using your grenades here. You'll regain them. Um, and now we need to press all of those symbols on the ground. That's the first one. Now let's go through here. There's another one over there. Let me just get that grenade too. Doesn't hurt to have it. There's number two. Now there's another one up in the tower where the sniper was. That's so two. let's go up there. Let's jump here. Press triangle. Three down. And I think there's two more. Uh, one's up there. Right on the side, there it is. Found you. There we Only go. One left. Sometimes uh, Nadine will press one of them for you, but I wouldn't count on her, honestly. You're better off doing it yourself. And now if we go up through here, the last one should be right over there. Yep, on the ground. So. Last Press it. And there we go. Now it. we can get inside. Okay. Back to the big wheel thing. Big wheel thing? Whatever the archaeological term And by doing this we have just cleared the second works. tower. Well, not quite yet, but we're getting there. There we go. Oh come on. Looks like we're going under. Now this puzzle is very simple to solve, you shouldn't have any issues. Good guess. First we're going to move this piece like so. Then rotate the the, um, the center one will rotate at the same time as the other ones, but now we just need to do this. Rotate it once more and there we go. It's Ganesh. Hello, sir. Right. Let's turn the water on. Well well. What's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm a little disappointed about it. Fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Also, I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. 
So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand on the outskirts of Halibadu. That's pretty funny. Last stop, the fort embedded in that mountain. That'll be the one with the axe. Mr. Exit makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mom's. All right, so let's get the move on. It seems clear to me that Chloe has some very deep father issues here. Uh, which honestly kind of makes her seem like Lara Croft a little bit. I mean, her father was obsessed with some discovery and kind of neglected his family. Uh, it doesn't seem that uncommon in these types of games. I wish they could have done something else, give her a different backstory, I guess. But anyway, we're going to get a move on. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought in Maurice. No fun. To be fair, it seems like Nadine has her own father issues herself because. She was kind of pushed to control her, far, her father's mercen mercenary force and, you know, as we know, with Uncharted for that didn't turn out very well. To be fair, I don't know why they would know that we're here. I mean, sure, the jeep is parked in the front, but who's to say that we didn't just jump down the waterfall and got out of here that way? Anyway, guys, this segment is probably going to take a little bit because there's a lot of enemies for us to get rid of and I'm going to try and get rid of all of them with stealth first let's take care of this guy remember that with armored soldiers first you need to remove their helmets before you can actually finish them off so that means that you have to make sure that there's no other enemies around, otherwise you might not have enough time to do this before you're spotted. But if you take care of that guy over there, then you should be good to go. And now let's climb up here, wait for that guy to turn around, and we'll go ahead and do the same to him. Although, to be fair, Chloe could have just pushed him off the cliff, but I guess not. Now wait for that guy to turn around. There we go. We could potentially push him into the tall grass if we grabbed him there, but I actually want to finish him off here because once the enemy sees his body, another wave of enemies will move forward and it will clear the back for us a little bit. And that will make our life easier. So honestly, I think that this is the best method to use here. Now we just need to wait for his friend to spot him. Although to be fair, I don't quite know how we can see him. But there's going to be a bald guy, I'm sure, appearing some, sometime soon. There he is. And he saw him. So now a second wave of enemies will come forward. But that means that they're going to abandon their positions uh, in the back. So this is good for us because it will be easier for us to get rid of them this way. We just have to wait for the right opportunity here. They're all together there, so I might be able to get them with a the grenade. Let's see. The armored guy will probably survive. Okay. I don't know if I got two or one, but either way, let's hide here again. Start the search. Oh, well, hello, and goodbye. I guess this guy survived as well. You have to be careful with these ones, because if you're actually in a, a fight against them, they will grab you, and it will take a while to get rid of them, because they will keep countering your attacks. So, on crushing difficulty, when you're being shot at by other enemies, things can 
become a little bit problematic. Anyway, let's climb up through here as well. Once more, and let's wait for that other guy to turn around. He's over there. So we just need to wait a little bit. And we'll be able to get him. And by getting rid of all of these enemies, uh, our life will actually become easier. Because it will be easier to get rid of all the enemies in the back. There we go, we are down as well, take a little nap. And now let's go through here. Now I need to get close to that tower, but there's still a lot of enemies and there's a sniper. And snipers have a bigger range than the regular soldiers, so they'll be able to spot you uh, faster. So I need to get over there, but if I go through here, I'm slightly concerned that that guy might be able to, to see me. He may or may not, it's hard to say. Okay, we'll try and go through the other side because I'm not convinced that we'd be able to sneak up on them through there. But through here we should be good. There, sh there should be an, a guy, and I think there is a guy with a helmet back there, but we will probably... We can hide in the tall grass over here. There we go, and... Now let's start getting rid of them. I might be able to get that guy. I don't know that he's going to move. There we go. Now I should get rid of the sniper. But with that guy over there, I won't be able to do it, so I'll have to wait for him to move. And then I should be able to do it. The sniper's probably going to move as well. One of them's going to move, there we go. As soon as he gets close, I'll be able to grab him. Okay, he's down. And now let's take care of the other guy before he turns around. There we go. And there should be one more. He moved. Probably checking the other side. So how about we fall on top of him? Let's try that. And there we go. And that's the last one. Now we can calmly get out of here. For real this time. You handed yourself on. All things considered. What things are those? No real combat training. Ah. Slightly impulsive. Run around the field like a maniac. <coughs> Need to learn what short controlled burst means. Alright. Lost. Wearing burst in the jungle combat. I'm glad someone else pointed out the red issue. But anyway, let's open this box. And this box will only be here once that second wave of enemies appears so this jeep or this truck won't be here beforehand so you need to essentially solve the puzzle first and only then will this weapon box be here and for some reason our jeep moves and that's going to happen again because there's one area where no matter where you park your jeep the enemy needs to see the jeep so they're always going to uh, have the jeep automatically teleport, which is hilarious. Uh, but anyway, let's get on the jeep. And we're going to get another token and collect another treasure now. And I love how Nadine was essentially saying that Chloe runs around the battlefield like a maniac, which to be fair is true, but... Running like a maniac and being effective is fine. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out. Running around like a maniac and not knowing what you're doing, well, that's how a lot of people get by on YouTube. But anyway, YouTube politics aside, make sure you go up through here. And we're going to get another token. And it's also funny because Nadine didn't even help get rid of a single soldier here. So, yeah, I don't know what she's doing. And I totally missed that jump. Let's try this again. 
another swing and here we are and now let's jump to the other side and now we need to get into that little cave over there Me. And here's another token for us. I've got your brothers and sisters waiting for you. Wonderful. Again, here's the location on the map. And now we're going to go ahead and get another treasure. Oh, and by the way, uh, if you're familiar with my walkthroughs at all, you'll know this by now, but if you check the video description of every single video, I have a timeline where I show the location of all the collectibles. So if you're just looking for the collectibles, you can just go to the timeline and skip ahead to the location of the trophies. Because obviously this chapter is pretty big. Anyway, let's go through here now. And it's not on this corner, so it's on the other corner. Right over here, you'll find another treasure. There we are. I always forget if it's in the other corner or this corner. Let's zoom in here a little bit. So that's the location. And now we're going to go ahead and get another token as well as another treasure followed by another token um, but I do think it makes sense for you to clear this area in this method I love how we just keep interrupting their conversation Okay, so for this one, we just need to shoot all the bells. Um, and if we do that, that will open a secret passage, which will grant access to the token. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll start with the first bell. Hmm. Is there a way to ring this? One... Ah! That's loud. Two, three, four, five, six. And I missed a shot. There we go. Let's get that token. And Nadine will conveniently park the jeep right in front of us. Up next. Another Hoysala token for my collection. I like this one. I like the snake. Looks pretty cool. And now we're going to get a treasure. It's very easy to miss this treasure, but from this location it's actually very easy to, to find it. If you know where to look, of course. Otherwise you might just drive past it and miss it. So there's an elephant statue over there. The treasure is going to be right on the elephant's eye. There we go. And that's another treasure obtained. And now let's get another token. Just so I can find you again. Up through here. And I didn't mean to waste that grenade. I'm sorry, pressed the wrong button. <laughs> it happens. And now let's get down there. Yeah, I don't know that Chloe's weight would be enough for that, but oh well. Okay, let's get out of here quickly. We got the token. Of 
course Chloe has to scribble on her map first. Uh, but just try to immediately press the select button so you jump to the map right away so that you don't waste a lot of time here. Wait for those two guys to turn around so that they're not looking straight at you and we're going to get rid of them in a certain order. Now you'll notice that in this area, and I was saying that before, your jeep will always be magically teleported into a position where the enemy can see it and they will always be looking for you. So, in order to counter this little trap that the game likes to throw at us, we're going to start by going through here and pick off the enemies one by one before they say anything. There we go, that's one. And now let's jump down here, stay close to the wall so you're not spotted. And now we're going to grab that guy. Watch yourselves. Search every inch of the slips. There we go. Two more. There they are. Let's hide over here. A grenade would probably get rid of them. There we go. I could wait for them okay. to just move on in separate directions, but to be fair guys, we're going to open another weapon box which is only available once these guys appear, because it comes with their truck. So we're going to get our grenades back once again. So this method really works pretty well, honestly. And you'll never run out of grenades. Here we are. Well, that silencer pistol doesn't have as much ammunition, so we'll stick with this one. And here's the location of the weapon box once again. And now let's get one more token before we take a break. It's a little bit tiresome, I admit. Um, sneaking up on all the enemies, finding your way through them. And it takes me a while to find the best methods to get rid of them, honestly. That's the biggest issue with this chapter. Took me a while to find all the treasures and then getting rid of all the enemies in the appropriate order. Okay, this one's going to be another tough area to clear. There's a lot of enemies. First things first, let's get rid of the sniper up there. There's actually two snipers here, but we'll start with him. We should be able to get behind this truck before the sniper moves into this position. I will wait for him to turn around. There's also two weapon boxes that we can get in this area. Okay, while well that guy's ducking, we'll hide here. And now let's go up through here. Get rid of the sniper. There we go. We should be able to fall on top of that guy. There we go, and now let's quickly hide because they will see him dead over there. There we go, they're already seeing him. We are not alone. Spread out. Search the area. And once again, we're going to regain some grenades here, so don't worry too much. And we should be able to, to get rid of all the enemies quietly, honestly, without too many concerns. I have to tell you one thing that I do like about the game, it makes it harder for us honestly, but I do like that for the most part the enem enemies usually stick to groups instead of like going in completely different directions. Uh, that makes it harder for us to pick them off one by one, they have to hide here for a little bit so that guy can see me, uh, but it also makes more sense for them see like for those two guys to stay close together instead of being going in opposite directions uh, hey, you got anything? Nothing. We are kind of like in Resident Evil where the main characters think it's a good idea for each of them to go in opposite directions in an area infested with monsters but let's throw a grenade over here that should get rid of both of them oh, shit. okay the other dude survived that's unfortunate we have to get rid of him later 
let's go through the other side now there's a bunch of enemies for us to get rid of in the other side Nadine's just kind of toggling along because why not They are very close. Uh, a grenade wouldn't be able to get them at this point, I think. You saw nothing. I will cover you. Just turn around and walk away. And stay in that position so I can snap your neck. I almost got caught there. Almost. There we go. Take a little nap. And now let's get rid of the other guy. They're actually probably going to climb up the tower where another sniper is located. So it's, it's better to just let them go for now. Because I really want to get rid of that sniper. Once the snipers are dealt with, then things will be easier. Okay, while they have their backs turned, let's get back there. And let's start climbing. Where's the sniper? There he is. Oh, that's not good. Nope. That was close. I thought that guy was going to jump down right away, but I guess not. Up next should be the sniper. Watch out. Another one down. Come over Get here. Or not. Let's get rid of him. There we go. And now there seems to be at least two more of them. If not three. There's one. I should be able to get rid of that guy while hiding in the tall grass. His friend turned around. There we go. That guy should be the last one. Let's get over there. And you are mine. There we go. That should be all of them. There we go. Let's see what we've got here. Now, depending if you visited this area earlier on in the chapter or not, the token won't be inside the wall. The enemy already collected the token, but instead the token will just simply be inside one of the weapon boxes. There's two areas where this can happen. Yes, they did. They stashed it inside this weapon box because they're not very smart. Okay, that's one lock. Two locks and the last one. There we go. There's the token. Ha. There you are. So like I was saying, if for some reason you happen to visit this area earlier on, the token will still be behind the wall and the wall won't be destroyed. But since I'm leaving this area and I left it for one of my last areas to clear then, that's why the wall was destroyed already. Now let's get the other weapon box. Which is right over here. Man, this chapter feels like it lasts forever. And there we go. 
nothing really useful here, but well, I can always collect something. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this segment. I know a very long segment indeed. But in the next segment, we're going to clear the remaining areas and conclude chapter number four. So as always, thank you for watching. I hope you found this segment useful and I will see you all later for the next part. Take care.